Good morning, everybody. Jeremy Baker here from The Voice of Reason. So one of the things that drives me nuts about the Republican Party is the never-ending hypocrisy. They complain about violence, but don't do anything about guns. They complain about people breaking the law, but then themselves won't abide by the law. But nothing aggravates me more than the pro-life hypocrisy in this country. Now, people like say Jim Jordan, who is currently uh, vying for Speaker of the House. He wants to ban abortion nationwide. Okay. Now I found a commercial or an ad somebody made to just give you an idea of what this country would be like if they were to ban abortion nationwide. So check this out real quick. I can't believe this. My daughter was raped and you're not going to do anything. I'm sorry. They'll put us all in prison. If we do the procedure. He's right. I'm your Republican congressman. We've banned abortion. No exceptions. She's just 12 years old. I'm not letting you destroy her life. I won the last election, so it's my decision. I'm just going to watch your daughter and make sure she doesn't do anything illegal. Now, I want you to ask yourself, are you really pro-life? Because... You only seem to care about the baby until it's born. After it's born, you oppress it because of its race and religion. You want to defund education so you don't want to teach the kid. And then you want to take away things like food stamps and Medicaid so the kid won't have food or health insurance after it's born. So I ask you one more time, are you really pro-life if you don't care about the damn kid after it's born? No. It is one giant hypocrisy. Okay. You don't, you're not, and you're not pro life. You're just anti abortion. Now, that ad may seem harsh, but the laws that the Republicans are trying to implement would create this exact scenario. And I understand that you, you don't like abortions. I get it. Okay. You want, you think every life should have a chance. But again, if you don't care about the kid after it's born, you're just a hypocrite. You're just a hypocrite perpetuating the hypocrisy of the Republican Party. Okay, so say you're somebody that does not have kids yet, or you have a child who is of age to have children themselves. What if the life of your child was in danger as a result of the pregnancy? What if your kid was raped? and got pregnant? What if your kid was molested, raped by a relative and got pregnant? Would you want your kid to suffer for nine months and then force them to have a kid to someone that raped them? I don't think anybody wants that for their kid. Especially men need to stay out of this conversation entirely. Men should not make any decisions regarding a woman's body. It is idiotic and archaic is a woman's decision. It has nothing to do with men. So we need to stay out of this conversation entirely. Abortion, in most cases, in some cases, is mercy. Look at the way our country is going right now. You, you, you mean to tell me that you think it's fair to force a child into this world right now where they're not going to get educated, they're not going to get food, they're not going to get clothing, they're going to struggle their entire lives. But you think that's better than an abortion. I think you might need to reevaluate your stance on this. Because, like I said before, abortion is not murder in this society. It's mercy. I don't know how to say this. Forcing somebody in America right now to have a kid is cruelty. It's very, very cruel to the person having the kid and to the kid itself. My hope is one day that we have a government that listens the reason that has the best interest of the people in mind. I feel the Democratic Party currently does have the best interest of the people in mind, whereas the Republican Party has the best interest of Donald Trump in mind. And that is a problem because while they're trying to appease one man, the rest of us struggle and suffer as a result. In the past nine months, since they've been sworn into office, the GOP side of the House has accomplished nothing, absolutely nothing. And until they're completely voted out, until Donald Trump is out of the picture, 
nothing is going to change and everything is going to stay exactly the way it is, or it will get worse. Or we can unite under a common purpose and fight this fascist nonsense the right way. Anyway, don't forget to check out The Voice of Reason. We got new episodes coming in weekly. Uh, we're just getting started, and we literally have no funds and no support. We're doing this all on our own. So every subscribe helps. Every click helps. Every like helps. I love you guys, and I appreciate your support. Talk to you soon.